how do we teach about other cultures without being able to actually be there physically present? So we teach it through you know, the storytelling of other cultures. We teach it through the languages of other cultures. We teach it through bringing in speakers from other parts of the world. We had the author of the principal book we read uh, Skype into the students. For that, we used the lobby of uh, the Global Learning Center that has this uh, fabulous wall-sized television screen. Uh, they understood the points he was making. They asked some really probing questions about the book he had written. And now I extend offers to the authors of all the books I have the students reading. Uh, I'm going to do that uh, from now on. And we have all of that available to us here, and the technology functions very well to enhance that learning. So this place is a very special place designed to bring the world in, where we can then experience it in a, in a, in a way that is real. Here in the Center for Global Learning, we have absolutely cutting edge technological capacity to teach, to bring the world into our classrooms through Skype, through other means and so forth, and also to instruct students and make them better users of technology because that will enable them to learn in a more global manner. The Global Discovery Lab is here to assist faculty and students to acquire and try out and maybe implement different sorts of technologies into their teaching and so forth. Uh, by definition, I think the Global Discovery Laboratory can be defined as a location where individuals on campus can come and learn about other cultures, learn from other societies, and learn to be competitive out in the real world. And we provide that opportunity through various means of technology that are available and through our associations with countries abroad. And what we do here now with our, the philosophy of this building is really to promote a notion of global citizenship that not only promotes learning, and perhaps study abroad, but also engagement abroad. And so we promote uh, notions of international immersion. We, we celebrate students who go above and beyond just studying and taking coursework abroad. Uh, another student and I had the chance to do a Christian A. Johnson Endeavor Grant, and specifically the international student collaboration. And that is something that is provided by the Center for International Education through a large grant that they received. And what happens there is that they pair an international student with an American student and they go to the international student's host country. We were very interested in um, being present in the refugee crisis that was unfolding in Germany. And so we went there and worked in a, in a refugee or an emergency shelter. And we also really enjoyed um, spending a lot of time with children. Um, what was really remarkable was the chance to uh, hear their stories and they actually soaked up German very quickly, so we would interact in broken German with one another. And while we were there, we actually conducted a soccer camp with these children. So we partnered with a uh, soccer team in a nearby neighborhood and did an, what we call an integration tournament. And that was a really, really remarkable and transformative time. Working with them kind of showed me in a very direct and practical way the privilege that I have every day in waking up uh, without having bombs flying over my head. To have experienced that firsthand and worked with refugee children in particular in this case uh, was something that was eye-opening and that uh, shaped the way that I perceived the world and perceived my own privilege. What the center really then is designed to do, it's a center for international education, a study abroad in the middle of it, is not only to send students abroad, but through our technology and our programs, our international students, scholar services and whatnot, to bring the world here, either virtually, through our technology, or really as we bring in students from across the world. We have 100 international students on campus, and every year we have 30 or 40 visiting international scholars who are here either for a semester or a year or even just for a couple of days to speak. So the Center for Global Learning really is the portal to the rest of the world whereby we send students abroad and also we bring the international and the global here to our campus in Lexington. Um, so it's a fantastic statement by the university about the importance of global learning for our students both at home and when they go abroad.